So what you're telling me is a guy can win two races in a season and still win the championship compared to two other guys that win seven races and not win the championship? That's what you're telling me? All right. So, yeah. I can't stream. I, I couldn't stream my reactions to the race. I can't do a reaction to the finish because I'm... He got copyrighted. So... The only thing left is to do a race review. Got the FedEx. Uh... Got the FedEx bag right here. Got my home team hockey, whatever hat on. I'm tired as hell. That race was fucking shit. No, it wasn't. It was actually pretty good. Gotta admit it. So let's review it. Before we even start the race, Regan Smith. Freaking. I guess. I don't know what happened to him. I guess he lost an oil line because he didn't even start the race until 26 laps in. And then we, we start the race. It was like three extra caution laps. Stage one basically goes the whole it goes the whole race. First pit stops mean a lot. Larson was the big contender in this race. He's the one who pits first, and then everyone else pits. He goes back to the lead. Larson takes away the lead from Denny Hamlin. Because Denny Hamlin had the pole award today. Gave up first pit stall for his teammate Kyle Busch to try and give him an advantage. Helped him a lot in the race, I'll admit. And then we get into stage two. Stage one winner, Kevin Harvick. Passed him Larson late in the stage. And then, then we get into stage two. Stage starts. Nothing happens. You get about halfway in. You get debris. Because um, I think it was the 92 that got in the wall. I can't tell you who it was. But there was a piece of debris. Of course. Hold on a second. I'm going to fix the sliding. That's better. No, it's not. You can still see it in my glasses here. I'm going to take these off. Sorry. But you get into stage two. Halfway in, there's a caution for debris. That really sets the mood for things. Pit stops come into play. And um, Kyle Busch gets shuffled back because apparently he had a hose get under his car. And um, uh, that shuffled him back a couple spots. So that got him out for that part. And then it's just Harvick and Larson battling for the stage two win. Harvick looks like he's going to do t two stage wins. And Larson unexpectedly gets a gigantic run coming out of turn four. And, and a photo finish. Beats Harvick to the line. Win stage two. Big woohoo. Stage points don't matter. That was a great stage finish. Got admit. Come on to stage three. You're expecting everyone to just snap immediately because the track is changing. It's going from day to night race. You're expecting everyone to change their setting and be aggressive as hell. Yeah, that happened, but not till like 20, 30 laps into the, before the race ended. So, you have one caution for Kyle Larson. Got into the wall. Blows a tire. And um, basically sets him out. Dominated. He goes winless. That's it for him. Jimmy Johnson gets in the third place along with Matt Kenseth in second. After Kyle Busch stays out while other guys pit. And... Kyle Busch looked like he was going to be a big contender if a caution came out. Three laps after pit stops happened. Greg Kislaski dumps Daniel Suarez. At least that's how I see it. I don't see him holding his line and then turning up. I think he got loose, hit him, but either way, it's still wrecked. So Daniel Suarez wrecks, blows the tire, goes down pit road. Nothing happened. That's really the only wreck that happened in the race. But caution comes out. Pit stops happen again. The guys that pitted before go back to pit road. And since you're expecting Kyle Busch to have pit trouble because he's had it all race, you think, oh, he's just going to lose position. That is not the case. He actually had a great pit stop. Pitting up from the front, going back to the front. And I have no idea how he lost the lead, but he somehow did. And it goes to Joey Logano. 
Now, remember what Martin Truex Jr. said. He said, he won the battle, he ain't gonna win the war. For a second, it looked like Truex was gonna get him. Because they were bumping. Like, they were... Logano was up here, Truex was like this, and just completely came up and pushed him up. Not really major damage. I'm surprised he didn't dump him, because he had three major chances to dump him. And for what he said at Martinsville, it looked like he was going to dump him in this race. But never happened. Went aggressive. Not aggressive enough. Finished second in the standings. And Joey Logano ends up coming out of turn four and winning his first NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series title at only 28 years old. So, let's do the standings. Joey Logano finishes first. Wins the championship. Martin Jones Jr. finishes second. And, um, I think Harvick finishes third. And Kyle Busch finishes fourth. Correct me if I'm wrong with that. But, yeah. Today was a pretty hard race for some fans. Especially Truex fans. Because, um, this is Truex's final race with Furniture Row Racing. They are shutting down after 2018, which is now... Furniture Row is no longer a team. This is also sad for Jimmy Johnson fans like myself. I've always... Chad Knauss has always been my favorite freaking crew chief because he's helped Jimmy win seven titles. Well, he's leaving at the end of the season. He will not be racing with Jimmy Johnson. He'll be racing with William Byron. I'm happy for Byron because, well, he's on Hendrick. But that's going to help him a lot. I really see William Byron getting a couple wins next year. But Jimmy lost Lowe's this year as well. Ally is his next sponsor. Or Ally, I don't know. For 2019. We're on the great throwback scheme. Had a great race, actually. I'm not going to... I'm going to admit. He was in third, fifth place most of the day. Running 12th a lot, too. I think he actually finished 13th. But... I don't know what happened to him. He was in third for a while. And also... This was... Uh, Apparently, um, Regan, well, Regan Smith ran a Casey Kane tribute scheme. So, yeah, that was the race review for Homestead Miami. Leave a comment if I missed anything, and I can't wait for February. New car, Mustang, new aero package. And, um, my prediction for the next year's championship, I cannot say a thing. You guys would have to comment below tell me some things. I'd have to agree or disagree. I'm just going to say next season is going to be one hell of a season. And I'm Burning Thunder, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.